Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be working on setting up our environment. Now, right now, you can see we have a pretty, pretty bland uh, environment right here with just the rings, the floor, and the default sky. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and use Quixel Bridge in order to get some high quality uh, photo scan assets into our game here. So to do this, we're going to go up to Window. We're going to go over to the Quixel Bridge. Now, Quixel is basically a library of hundreds and thousands of different photo scanned 3D models. So these are high quality models that we can just drag and drop into our project for free. Okay. So in the bridge here, what we're going to do is I'm just going to undock this window because we do sort of want it in the same view as our level here. And what we're going to do is we are just going to search for what we want. So on the left hand side here, you'll see there's a little planet and I'm going to hover over that. I'm going to click on it, I mean, click on environment, and then environment here, we're going to go down, click on natural, and as you can see, there are plenty of different environments we can choose from. I'm going to go Arctic uh, Ice and Snow, just because I think that'll be pretty cool for a playing game. And yeah, we can then go through, click on an asset that we might like, and you may have a option down here to log in um, before you actually download these. And make sure you do that. Um, just log in with your Google account, with your um, Epic Games account. There's plenty of ways to log in. So once you do that, what we can do is we're not going to click on download because that will download it to our computer and makes it a bit hard to find. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag on the thing that we want. And we're going to click and drag it into our level here. And then you'll see that it spawns in like so. Okay, we can then scale it up, move it around rotate it and this basically just acts as a 3d model and depending on which quality you set here um, depends on of course the size of the textures and the size of the model but overall these models do look pretty good and something else we can do is then on our ground we can click and drag on this material to apply it like so and there we go we have that snow texture now applied to our ground what I want you to do now is just go through and drag in the 3D models that you wish to create and set up your environment. Okay, there are plenty of different models and environment set pieces here. Uh, so set those up and also go ahead and start duplicating these rings and positioning them in places where, you know, you might have a nice challenging flight game to play. So I'll be right back to see how you're done. Okay, so I hope you had a go at that challenge. Pretty much, just start placing those models around. As you can see, I also put these rings around so the player has to fly through them. Um, and I also got some other ground assets here to just add to the environment. So we can press play and test it out. Okay, increase our flight speed, make it over to the ring little course I made over here. And there we go. So as you can see, uh, you can pretty much create whatever sort of flight arcade game you want. You might even want to start adding in some uh, weapons to the planes if you want. Um, you might add some targets that you could shoot down. Really, there's a lot, a lot of things you can do with uh, this little plane blueprint right here. You can, of course, create rings like we've done. You can create weapons, create targets. Um, you might even want to create a race around an obstacle course with collisions on the wall so that if you were to bounce into them, uh, the plane would explode. And yeah, that is our plain game inside of Unreal Engine. Thank you for watching.